Kirby people. Tracy Reed here today coming at you with the very first autumn enchantment page I am going to make. I am making this page in my October daily for the um, TRD YouTube hop for autumn enchantment. There is a whole set of links in the description box below, including a link to the blog post with all of the um, layouts created for this collection by the team all rounded up so that you can see them all together. But this is going to be my page. I am scrapbooking a um, mini hike that my Patrick, my Patrick, <laughs> my husband and I did um, for our anniversary over on um, Foothills Parkway in Maryville in Tennessee. Uh, we went on this hike that we weren't intending to go on, but it's the perfect set of photos for this collection. Um, you can see that I have already printed my main photo with digital stamps from the Autumn Enchantment Collection. And I also printed a label on the photo so that I wouldn't have to print it out and cut it through my silhouette. And then I also have a three by eight insert here with a photo on the back and I have already printed my journaling on this traveler's notebook insert as well. So I'm going to be making this page with um, this excess or this excess, this extra photo strip as well as this photo. I'm in, I am including one, two, three, four, five, six photos on one spread for this page and I'm going to switch over to the speed scrapping now and we're going to make this page together. All right, let's go. All right, so I came around to the conclusion fairly quickly that I wanted to keep this page very simple. Um, there are a lot of really great complicated, really technique heavy layouts in this YouTube hop and I felt like I just really wanted to let the product shine and show off that you can indeed have a nice, simple, beautiful layout without, um, you know, really leaning into crazy techniques, even though you know that I love a great interactive technique. I really like um, things that make you think outside the box, and there are some great examples of that in this YouTube hop, but I wanted to show off that you can do the opposite too, and your pages will still come out really beautiful. So I knew that I wanted to create a pocket with a three by four card, three by four pattern card on this three by eight insert, and so I'm going to take this sticker that says, I wish every day was this magical, and I'm going to use it just as decor on the outside of the pocket and I'm going to add in some of these leaves to the top of the embellishment, <laughs> the top of the label. Uh, I haven't done a voiceover like this in a while. At the top of the label to just make it pretty and we're not going to add too much, we're just gonna add a little bit, right? So I love the way that the yellow plaid paper and the orange leaf paper interacted together so I didn't want to take away from that too much but I did want to add just a couple of things to this photo strip that I printed so I'm going to add a word bit here and then I'm going to come back and add another one in a little bit since I had already added a stamp or a bunch of stamps to that large main photo plus the um, label, I didn't actually need to add anything more to that. And I didn't want to add too much to this photo either. So I just added that sticker that says take a walk in nature, which I thought was perfect because that's what we were doing. And I'm going to match this photo that's going to go across from it on more of that yellow pattern so that it coordinates with the front side of that page. I'm going to just tilt everything slightly to fill up that space, but of course there's a lot of excess yellow there, plus it um, you have that double yellow going on, so I'm gonna add in this um, sticker that says this made me oh so happy because the journaling does talk about how how all I really wanted was to go for a ride for our anniversary because we haven't been out on the bike in forever and the leaves are changing and everything is just beautiful. So that will make it so that the yellow isn't repetitive when the flap is closed. And also, you know, just added a little bit to it. I obviously printed my journaling on that paper before I printed it out. And so I'm just working around the journaling that I already had there. 
and I, I want to add a couple of these little leaf trails, but I have to find one that works well <laughs> with what I already have there. So I'm just auditioning a few to see what I want. So I'm going to make this kind of loop around. I thought I was going to put it behind, but it didn't really look great. So I'm just going to let it overlap the this just slightly. Um, it's a little bit fussy. I got a little bit fussy here, even when I'm even when I am scrapping simply, I'm still fussy. <laughs> Maybe more so because there's so much less to look at that everything sort of just stands out on its own. So I wanna make sure that everything looks great. I'm gonna add another leaf here and another leaf trail just to sort of frame the whole photo and to duplicate what is happening at the top of the page. Okay, so that is already done. Perfect. I need to move this around just a little bit. All right, so let's move on to what I decided was at this point, I was like, okay, I have more photos from this adventure and this is just, this isn't a lot. So I'm gonna add in more to this page, more to this video. I'm gonna do, actually, this is gonna be two days of October daily because um, I, I do my October daily by stories, not by days. So um, this is going to be one story and then the other portion of this this day is going to be another story. So I'm gonna add actually some photos in to the before. So let me put this in the album and then I'm going to pull out some other stuff. We are still gonna go with a simple vibe for this page too, but I'm gonna play with a few different textures. I obviously have this beautiful photo from the back of the motorcycle. And then I love this photo of us at the sign for the Foothills Parkway, which is what we were riding on. So I'm gonna pair these two together and tell a different story, but I'm gonna make it a little bit more, uh, it's not more technique heavy, just have a little bit more um, of an interest in on this page with some transparency. So I'm gonna mat this photo on this four by six pattern card. I'm gonna trim it down, of course. And then I'm going to, I actually had to let this sit overnight because I started to build this page and I kind of hit a wall and that's okay. Sometimes I just walk away, come back the next day and um, keep building. So I put this photo down and then I was like, uh, okay, I'm gonna add in my transparency I'm gonna add in some title and then I'm gonna let it sit overnight. So I'm gonna use these two different alphas to build my title and it says, so it says in the fall, but of course there's a sign above us that says Foothills Parkway. So it says Foothills Parkway in the fall. And then I added this transparency, which is actually a, um, a bonus paper, not the transparency itself, but the, the pattern on it is a bonus paper in the collection that was part of Sweet Shop's um, little grab bag this weekend. I printed it on transparency and then I put those two or two, four leaves and that title over the top of it. You know I hate seeing the back side of things but I'm okay with it in this instance. Um, sometimes I'm okay with it if it's not too messy looking and it just looks like white on the back side so it's not a big deal. And then I added some labels to add my journaling in and I'm gonna add in these moths too because I can't resist using the moths. Again, we are still staying super simple so I'm not gonna go crazy with it, but I'm folding up the wings so that they have a little bit of texture and I'm just going to adhere the center down. Now what you're gonna wanna do to make sure that these keep their wings flipped up is you, you're gonna wanna put something underneath it like a pop dot just on the edge to make sure that they don't flatten all the way down, like on the inside edge, so that they don't flatten all the way down. I don't do that in this video, but I do do it before I put it back in my album. I decided to not put that third moth on there, and I'm gonna use some of these trails as well um, on these moths. They're not just for leaves, they're also for the moths. I put it underneath the F. I love the way that that gold is interacting with this collection, so pretty. Then I'm gonna use this one up here. And we are getting pretty close to done because again, we are keeping this simple. I need to add in my journaling, so I'm going to grab a pen and do that. Where is it? There it is, okay, so I'm gonna add in my journaling. Then I decided I needed one more little word bit here and I couldn't decide if I wanted it at the top or the bottom, but I ended up going at the top, but we're gonna move it down just a little bit lower so that it frames the photo a little bit better. 
And then we're gonna call it good. I'm gonna put it all back in the album so that you can see it all together. And that is it for this video. So if you enjoyed it, I'd love it if you give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, go ahead and subscribe. I'd love to have you. If you don't already, you can follow me over on Instagram. I'm at Tracy M. Reed. I'd love to see you over there as well. There is a link in the description box below to all the other YouTube hoppers as well as a blog post um, that has them all rounded up together so you can see all of the projects in one place. And I will see you next time. All right. Thank you.